The Inventor's Secret, What Thomas Edison Told Henry Ford by Suzanne Slade, illustrated by Jennifer Black Reinhardt. Not so long ago, the world was a little slower, a little simpler, and a whole lot quieter. No airplanes roaring overhead, no cars rumbling down roads, no phones ringing in pockets. Then things began to change because of two curious boys, Thomas and Henry, and one secret. Young Thomas got into trouble a lot. It always started with an experiment. He just had to see how things worked. Thomas was curious about chemistry. He mixed up colorful potions in his basement. But explosions shook the house night and day. Tom was curious about locomotives. He got a job as a newsboy, selling papers on a train. But one of his experiments set the baggage car on fire. Most of all, Thomas was curious about electricity, invisible energy that flowed and stopped, sizzled and popped. He tied wires to his cat's tails and rubbed their fur. Sparks flew that day. Henry was born 16 years after Thomas. He got in a heap of trouble too. He was always doing experiments instead of his chores. He just had to see how things worked. Henry was curious about wind-up toys. He took his sister's toys apart, but couldn't always get them back together. Henry was curious about the rushing river. He built a dam and a water wheel to catch its energy, but flooded the neighbor's field instead. Most of all, Henry was curious about engines, machines that chugged and purred, hiccuped and whirled, and he built a steam engine from a 10-gallon can, 10 blades, and a pipe. But it exploded and set the school fence on fire. As Thomas grew older, he dreamed of creating his own inventions, electric gadgets to make his life easier. He designed an electric pen so people could rest their weary hands. His sharp pen cut a stencil that made copies. In just one day, people could print a pile of copies that would have taken weeks to write by hand. As Henry grew older, he dreamed of creating his own inventions too. Powerful engines to make life easier. When he was 12, he spied something amazing, an engine-powered buggy. He never, he'd never seen a vehicle that wasn't pulled by a horse. Henry sprinted up to the buggy. His mind filled with questions. What powered the engine? How fast did it go? What could it do? The driver boasted the vehicle ran on coal and steam. It went about 12 miles an hour. Its engine powered farm equipment and huge saws. 